everyone, I'm Alan Mishkulnik. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be talking to you about why many of our students come to us with that dreaded slice and explain to you why that is and how you can start producing a more desired ball flight, which is a push draw a ball that's flying from right to left. Um, I'll also give you a guide as to the steps that you need to take in order to start producing that ball flight and then we'll round things off with how you can go home and um, or go to the driving range and practice this by yourself. Okay everyone, so what is the difference between a player who slices the ball and a player who draws the ball or hooks the ball? So a slicer is typically a player who in relation to the target line would move his club in his downswing and through impact on an excessive out to in path. So the club head would be moving excessively to the left with a club face that is open to that path. So you're basically cutting across the ball, thereby tilting um, the axis of the ball to the right and producing that dreaded slice. Conversely, somebody who hooks the ball or draws the ball would produce the exact, the exact opposite. So in the downswing, that club would be moving in relation to your target line on an in-to-out path so out to the right with a club face that is slightly closed to that path. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit a few shots um, and I'm going to try to incorporate the elements that I would ordinarily see a slicer apply in his swing. Okay, now I'm going to carry out a few swings uh, trying to incorporate all the components that I consider necessary in order to hook the ball. Okay, so if we, uh, if we look at the numbers, here we've got the first five shots um, which, were, which I've uh, entitled Slice, and then the, uh, the second five that I hit entitled Hook. Um, so the numbers that interest me here are the ones which indicate how much side spin um, the balls had. So with the Slice balls, you can see that I definitely had some uh, right spin, 2,000, 1,000, 2,500 um, um, RPMs to the right, so that ball definitely, those balls definitely curving to the right. If you look at the, um, uh, at the balls that are hooked, it's the reverse. So they're all curving to the left between, uh, between 1,000 and, uh, and 2,500 uh, RPMs. Um, in terms of club path and face to path, my slice, uh, slice shots were all out to in, 9.9 9 degrees, 5.4, 7.0, 7 7.8, with a face to path that was consistently open. Um, whereas my, the balls that I hooked were all in to out, with a club face that was consistently closed. Here we can see the first three definitely with a closed face. So uh, that is why I produced, um, we produced balls that curved from right to left, and uh, with the sliced shots, uh, balls that sliced from left to right. Okay everyone, so I've taken a, a video of uh, my slice swing and also a video of my hook swing and um, we're just gonna have a look at them together and just see what the differences are. So at setup, so this is my slice swing, um, at setup I would notice that my shoulders are turned open, so they're pointing to the left which is why uh, my shoulder turn number is yellow um, in addition, I would also notice that my weight is more on my trail foot, ever so slightly, but it is notice noticeable. Uh, then in my backswing, we can see that my hands are moving slightly outwards, something that we do see, um, we do see slicers do uh, uh, frequently. That club head is also moving on an outwards path. And uh, something that you can't see is that my lead wrist, 
I'm flexing, I'm, I'm extending my lead wrist, I'm cupping my lead wrist, which again accentuates an open club face and um, which supports the notion of you know, wanting to slice the ball. Um, you can also see that um, my hips are pushing to the right and breaching the line um, just to the right of my hip. Okay, in my downswing, you can see clearly that my hip club is moving out to in, and from the numbers uh, just previously, uh, we saw that that ball was slicing, and I was cutting across it with an open face. So if we compare that to my hook swing, uh, what are the differences? So firstly, I would say that my shoulders are pointing to the right, which is why my shoulder turn is closed and blue, uh, nine degrees. Uh, furthermore, my weight is on my front foot, I'd say probably 60%. Now if we look at my backswing, we can see my hands moving slightly inwards and the club head as well. Plus my lead wrist is fairly straight or I would even encourage slightly bowed or flexed um, in order to close the club face. And finally, we can see that my hips are not breaching this line, but instead they're even separating slightly from that line, which is why my hip sway number, my hip sway number is uh, 0.8 inches towards, which is to average. Um, if you wanted to hook the ball even more, I would encourage pushing your hips even more towards the target when, um, when practicing this. And then in my downswing, you can see clearly that that club is, is being delivered from an in to out, on an in to out path with the club face that's shut and the numbers also supported that. Hi everyone, so what have we discovered? Um, at setup, I would encourage you, if you're trying to eliminate your slice, uh, to uh, look out for two things. First of all, I'd like you to get your, your weight onto your lead side, let's just say 60%. So bump your hips slightly towards the target at setup. Um, uh, additionally, what I'd like you to do is ensure that your shoulder line is pointing towards the right, out to the right. Now in your backswing, we need to make sure, one, that your lead wrist stays straight or even slightly bowed, and that you move your hands slightly more inwards as opposed to outwards inwards and finally that you would want to keep your hips in your backswing keep your hips left keep your weight forward and one way of uh, uh, imagining that or practicing that is that you you would, you would push your hips slightly towards a target in your backswing and then i would recommend that you hit half shots just incorporating that and see whether you can start producing a ball flight which is slightly right to left okay so it would be Weight forward, push your hips towards the target, close your shoulders. And in your takeaway, keep your hips, push your hips towards the target, flex your lead wrist and bring your hands inwards. Let's just start with some half shots. So they're gonna look something like this. And let's just see whether we can produce that ball, that desired draw right to left ball flight. All right. Okay, so there we can see a small push draw, and even though I just hit it very short, uh, my swing was uh, relatively short, I still had to hit that about um, 120 meters. All right, everyone, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me the thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Thanks a lot, and uh, goodbye from Singapore. <laughs>